She's 14. No. That's a year younger than you. No. I don't care. She, she's I'm 13. I'm above the age. Oh, yeah. You can hear a lot. No, you're not. Yeah, huh? The, the age is 16. That's the limit to have sex is 16. There is no illegal age. Yeah, there is a legal age. There is not. There is too. Google it. Because you can fuck <laughs> without giving a shit. <laughs> well, yeah, but the law, by the eyes of the law, I am old enough to have sex. Well, by the eyes of the law, I'm going to fuck whoever the fuck I want to. You know that girl next door? Fuck her. You know the police, the, pl the school police? I'm going to walk up. I'm going to fuck him too. <laughs> but I'm going to be so far deep in Blenheim. Shut up. If you can only have one man a day, one man. Ah! When you get to like 15 or 16, you have to get like your wisdom teeth pulled out. What I did, they basically kind of told me that I was going to be like, and the doctor told me that he, why why he was putting the needle in my arm? Why was he putting the needle in my arm? That I was going to feel a little tingly. I was like, okay, tingling, not a big problem before, I, I, I don't mind needles, like, to me they kind of tickle, I don't know why, you're a piece of shit, so he said I'm going to feel a little tingly, and more I get a little nauseous, and then I'm going to fall asleep, okay, I'm fine, I'm okay with falling asleep, sleep's good, sleep's a beautiful thing, so, he put the needle in my arm, and then he was telling me about all, like all the things that could happen during the procedure, like all the things that could go wrong, but they're like two percent chance. And while he was telling me those, I was instantly knocked out. Like there was no nauseous or anything. I didn't get tired or anything. I, w I blacked out. I was I was like drunk. I couldn't I, no I couldn't understand anything. And then, but this is this is the funniest part to me. Before he told me that. He said I should be out for about four hours, maybe, tops. Nah, <laughs> I went in there. Got the surgery for like 10 o'clock in the morning. You know when I woke up? You wanna know? 11 o'clock at fucking night. I woke up at 11 o'clock at fucking night. Cause I was told five hours of sitting in there of being knocked out, not knowing anything. No. I was out for 13 fucking hours. And I immediately slapped my head against the arm of my couch. And then passed out again. And didn't wake up until like 10 o'clock next morning. But to conclude all of this, I was hella pissed. Because I told that I was going to be asleep for 5 hours. Then I'm going to wake up, feel normal again, maybe be kind of sore. No, I was asleep till 11 o'clock in the fucking night. And then I had to get up, and I fell back to sleep again. I don't know how the hell I fell back to sleep again. I was like 13 hours of sleeping right there. And then I, I wake up, and then I continue my day like that. It was nothing. And I, all, I had to take a couple pain pills. Did they help? Not really. I wasn't really in pain. It didn't hurt as bad. The guy did a good work. But he just lied to me about waking up after five or four hours. Yeah, yeah. So to conclude all of this, the guy lied to me. And I wanted to cry.